Hey everybody, welcome back to T-Roy Cooks. I appreciate you joining us. We're going to be grilling a pizza for you. This is going to be a fabulous pizza. I've got my Kamado Joe back here behind me getting fired up. I didn't put any smoke on it or anything. I just got some lump charcoal in there. But I'm getting fired up to about 450 to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm just waiting for it to come up to temp right now. And i got to thank my, my good friend, my co-worker Daniel, for sending me a link for this pizza. I've never seen a pizza done this way. He just sent it to me today and I was like, Dude, I'm cooking that pizza tonight. That looks good. So it's an impromptu video. It's uh, sun's already setting, so hopefully y'all stick with me. This is going to be great, though. Y'all check this out. I'm going to show you my own version of this video, uh, th this pizza, I mean. And I'll put a link to the original video down below in the description box. Y'all check that out as well. Good stuff. Stick around. Let's see if we can get this pizza going, folks. What you got to do, you got your pizza. I've already docked it a little bit. Just gonna cut a little bit of a like that. Okay, and then we're going to put a little bit of cheese down. I got some of this. Uh, this is some Munster jalapeno. I love this stuff. I, I tell you what, I forgot. We need to put a little bit of this uh, sauce down first. Let's do that. Oh yeah. And I, I don't like a lot of sauce. You put whatever much you want on there. I just like it to be a little bit wet. Not overpowering. It's good stuff. Good stuff. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and put down this Munster right here. However much you like. And, and again, just, just do these your own way. I mean, everybody likes pizza a little bit different. So go ahead and make it your own way, folks. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw in a little bit of a provolone. Let's go ahead and stick this provolone down there. I'm going to just bust it in half here, lengthwise, and that's going to help me get around here. And, folks, y'all know I love my cheese. That's why I'm doing this. I do love me some cheese. My son says I have a cheese vault. That's not far from the truth. Probably should turn these the other way like that right there. There you go. Turn the curve to the outside. We got uh, a little bit of mozzarella. Mozzarella's going on there. If you don't like all these cheeses, just put mozzarella, folks. It's good stuff. Got some green bell peppers and a little bit of hamburger meat ground up. Uh, and it's cooked. And I put some uh, salt and pepper, some fennel, and uh, what else do I put in there? A uh, little bit of Italian seasoning in there. I'm just going to kind of go on the inside here just a little bit. See if I get some pepperoni going over here, folks. Oh, yeah. You got to lift this up from the back side here. Okay, fold that around like that right there. Stuff all the rest of it back in. Okay, and again, go on this side. Lift this up. Like so. Fold that around like that. There we go. And just keep going around, just like that, folks. Once you have it kind of in a star shape, then you throw in a little bit of bacon. Just go around just like that. Everywhere that you piece this together, just like that. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of this. I'll show you here in a second what it looks like. That's what we wind up with. Let me show you what we're going to do with that. Let me break it back out over here. So I can put you back over here where the Kamado Joe is. You got to burp it. Burp that baby. And when you got a pizza stone like that, be sure and let it heat up for a good, I'd say 30 minutes, but you know, at least 15, 20 minutes. Let's see if we can put this on here. Um, yeah, I got a little bit of a stuff on here. We're gonna see if we can just kind of slide this off here. You want some kind of a, like a, oh heck, what do you call it? Um, corn flour? Or some kind of flour like that on there, it's just just to help it 
release. But I got this, uh, again, we're about 450, and I'm just going to let this baby go. Let's check on this. It's been about 15 minutes. Got to burp. Make sure you burp when you're cooking above 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Hold it open just a little bit and let that air get in there because otherwise you're going to flashback. That, that will not be good. So that's what it looks like 15 minutes in. I got some uh, butter here and this is a little bit of garlic salt. I'm just going to brush this on the bread section here. That's going to make it real yummy. This is uh, just about done here. And honestly, the pizza itself is done. I'm just waiting for the uh, for the bacon to get done. And maybe I should have cooked just a little bit higher temp. Maybe uh, maybe 500, I don't know. But uh, man, it sure does smell fantastic. And I bet it's gonna taste fantastic too. Oh yeah. So we'll be back here in probably about three minutes or so. We'll check on it again. I don't want all my cheese oozing out like it's starting to. So we'll be back. We are finishing up this cook here. It's been about 18 minutes and we are pushing 500 degrees Fahrenheit on this big Joe, the big Kamado Joe. The back yard here so you can see what we got going on over here. And again, burp this thing, man. This thing's anything above 400 degrees, you got to burp it. Oh, does that look fabulous or what? Holy cow. All right, we're going to pull this baby off here. We're going to let it cool off a little bit. We'll be back here in a second, folks. Here we go, folks. Let's go check this out. This is what we got, folks. Let's check it out. I'm going to go ahead and cut it where it's already like coming apart over here. And um, I, I've, I've got to say, I'm just going to cut it so that I've got a piece with the bacon and one of the... Um, you know, the pieces that I flipped over, the uh, wrapped around, you know, kind of thing. That's what we got. Let's check it out, folks. Let's get some of that bacon. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. I'll tell you what. I had a couple of blowouts. But when it blows out, that cheese it gets a really nice crust on the pizza stone. Love that. Ooh, that's good stuff. Mmm. I got some of that in that bite. Mmm. I'm sorry I'm digging for my nap. That's, that's good stuff, folks. Mmm. I can't remember. When you roll up pizza dough with some stuffing and stuff in it, I can't remember what it's called, but... Man, that's good. It reminds me of that. Mmm. Kamado did a good job. Love my big joke. Um, if I did anything different, I'd probably cook my bacon maybe eight to 10 minutes before I wrapped it around the dough. Uh, you know, cook it till it's still limp so you can wrap it around. But the dough cooked quicker than the bacon. I probably could have pulled this about 12 to 14 minutes if I would have pre-cooked the bacon. And I, oh, and another thing, the garlic butter, one of my subscribers, probably a year ago, told me, you know, he worked at a pizza joint, and he says, man, you gotta, you gotta put some garlic butter on the, on the pizza crust, on the outer edges as it's cooking. You know, that's, that's good stuff. And man, thanks, that is really good stuff. I love that, love that garlic butter on the outside edge. Fantastic cook, folks. Hope y'all give this a try. It's a beautiful dish. And if y'all like to give me a thumbs up, okay? Hope y'all share the video. When you do, please tell all your friends that T-Roy cooks responsibly. <laughs> we'll see y'all next time, everybody. Cheers. <laughs>